my side cutters have become magnetic. Just pretty much the worst thing that can happen to side cutters, well, apart from apart from this the state of these jaws. Uh, but before I throw them away, get some new ones, or attempt to file down the jaws, I wanted to see if I could make them not magnetic. Never tried this specifically, but I think it'll work. What I've got is about 24 ohms, 30 ohms of series resistance and 24 volt transformer. Okay, I've got this whole mess hooked up here. I'm gonna turn the power on. I've got the clamp meter so we can see that something is actually happening. I'm expecting a little under an amp. Hey, a little under an amp. So, what, what am I expecting here? The, the electrical current and thus the magnetic field in the side cutters right now is flipping back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. When I turn this off, hopefully um, all the molecules are going to be all kind of mixed up. Um, they won't be magnetic anymore. So let those run for a little bit. Here's the pile I was previously able to pick up. Oh, I can still pick it up. I had suspected I would probably need to use a coil rather than just a direct connection, so let's try a coil. Same series resistor, so same, same current. I don't know how long I have to cook this for. Longer than that. That wasn't working, so what I'm going to try instead uh, this is just a, a pre-rolled roll, probably about 50 feet of magnet wire. I took out some of the series resistance. Heard something twitch in there, almost as though magnetized. So hopefully this is going to work. It actually did not take very long, maybe about a minute. Completely demagnetized. So there you have it. If you have a pair of side cutters or something else that is magnetized and you don't want it to be, grab yourself a roll of magnet wire, a 24 volt transformer in a couple of minutes, and you can fix that pretty easily.